Hello, hello, happy Sunday everyone, happy Sunday. And here we are, it's Ian again from Seventa Makeup Academy and Treasure House of Makeup. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of a Sunday demo. I love a Sunday demo, I don't know about you, but um, so this morning I did my garden, I did my lawn today and um, I decided to, to yeah, to get it done because um, I need to do my garden. Um, and now we're gonna do a bit of, Bit of a demo, bit of a demo now. Um, I don't know about you guys, but the other day um, I did my aging demo on Facebook Live, um, and and we decided to do it again on Instagram Live because it was very popular. So here, so here we're again. We're going to do it again. Um, so what we're going to work on today is um, is you're going to be doing, doing a bit, oh hello Charlotte. Um, we're going to do a bit of aging on um, on Diane Horan Hill. Christ Almighty. Hello, Diane. Um, we're going to do a bit of a demo on aging. Now, most of you always want to create uh, takeaway lines. I'm going to add lines. Um, so here we are. We're going to do um, my gorgeous Zuza, student from Brunel has just joined. Hello, darling. Um, today is all about lines and stipple um, aging. Um, now, Meron, Ben Nye, many products have their own brand. Uh, ben Nye have a thing called um, Old Age Stipple. Uh, however, essentially all it is is latex. And today we are working with Meron latex. Now, um, I love Meron latex because it's extremely, extremely creamy. Um, it is tinted, so it comes in different colors. You can get flesh, you can get clear. Um, you can also get the zombie colour, which obviously is used for zombies. Um, I really like this liquid latex clear white. Okay, it's, it doesn't go as yellow. I find some a lot of latex can go quite yellowy. This one doesn't, and it's it's really good. Um, what I also like about it is it's extremely creamy. It's very rich, very creamy, and it's also not very. It doesn't smell too much of ammonia. Um, as you know, latex has ammonia which is what people sometimes are allergic to. Um, the ammonia, which is when people are allergic to hair dye, stuff like that. So um, so I find liquid latex from Meron's really rich. And um, it, is, it has got ammonia, of course, but it just doesn't smell as much. It's a gorgeous Johnny Hooley has just joined. Hello, Johnny. Welcome to our Sunday demo. We're doing it again. We're doing our aging again. We are adding lines, lines, lines. There we go. Normally we want the lines to go away, but this time we're adding the lines. So, liquid latex. Now, um, for those of you that have not used latex before, um, always make sure you patch test the back. Uh, if you're working on someone else, if you don't, if you haven't worked with them before, um, I've used latex on myself all the time. So it's always good to do a patch test, like when you do an eyebrow tint or a hair dye, okay? Um, it's a very, um, this technique, um, aging, stipple aging, or aging, old age stipple, it's a very effective technique. Hello, Seventa Makeup Academy. It's a very effective makeup technique because um, for a lot of people they find, hello Juan, um, they find aging with prosthetics can be very heavy. If you work with actresses of a certain age, they find aging prosthetics can just be too heavy for them. I had the pleasure of working on a on a movie called Bertie by Hidden Door Productions, directed by Gary Crystal with Alison Stedman. And um, my prosthetics um, designer, who I bought, in, I was the makeup designer and prosthetics designer and company, um, <laughs> thank you let's see what the transformation looks like so i brought in prosthetics by Exilion effects and they were very um you know ready to make for alison to age her and alison decided they were too heavy so we all we did we we didn't do the prosthetic was very simple and actually we used a lot of old, old age stipple um good the, the quality is good i'm really pleased i'm really pleased and um, i think um instagram live is a better quality than facebook live personally but there you go right um it's our handy takeaway little containers. We all use them. Um, very useful for mixing palettes that you don't mind ruining. Okay. Um, so today, make sure when you work with any product, you just put the lid back on. Otherwise, you may spill it. But also with latex, the moment it oxi starts oxidizing, it will start getting hard. So we're going to start adding lines here. Okay. 
this area. This is your cosmetic sponge. Break it. Break it. Because what you want is, even if you can see, you want this really raggedy edge. Yeah? Can you see the really raggedy edge? That's what you want. Because it gives you the uneven surface. Uh, so that's what we're looking for. Right. So you're going to start stippling the product in. Right, that's our first layer. So then we have our handy hairdryer. Make sure you really, really stretch it. You will feel and getting tighter, that's the point. You want it to feel tightening. But what this is doing is drawing the skin together. As, as you stretch it out, as she comes back together, it will create the lines. Oh, also break down my hair dry. Um, oh, hang on, bear with me. Sorting out my space. Sorting out my space. Hello, Cheryl. Hope the kids are well. The application, as you can see, is very thin, okay? You just want to really build the layers up. Look at the mirror. Oh, oh, look at that. Do we like those? There's my wrinkles starting to appear. So that was two very thin layers of latex. Can you see those? God, I haven't looked better in ages. And you just kind of start pinching it to create the wrinkle effect that you want, really. Yes, we like that, we like that. I'm going to look fabulous by the end of today. Look fabulous. So, we're going to start working around here. Now, when you're working near the eye, you've got to be really careful, okay? You're working with latex, not, you don't want to get that in your eye. You're also working with eyebrows, with hair. Ideally, you don't want to get that into the eyebrow. You can do, I mean, I've got no hair there, so I'm going to go for it. Uh, just be careful where you put it, okay? So, let's go, let's start here, shall we? Uh, no. Now, the other day when I did this, I was having to work in an in inverted camera. It was a bloody nightmare. But we got there. We got there. So stretch it out again. Hello, Monster Effects. There we go. Gorgeous, fabulous provider of ready-to-wear prosthetics made by Fabulous Monster Effects. Um, so for those of you that... Oh, hello. I've just changed my camera. I beg your pardon. What's going on here? There we go. For those of you that wanted to do this look with prosthetics, Monster Effects can make you some ready-to-wear. Again, this is out of kit. This is when you don't have prosthetics and you've just got to do it as we go along. Um, however, if I wanted to buy prosthetics, I would go to Monster Effects Makeup. Uh, beautiful prosthetics, really nicely done. Morgan, there she comes, fabulous hairstylist, makeup artist, full of energy. Can you see the lines? Monster Effects, I love your pieces. I can't wait for all this to, to be over. I've got a few things I need to order from you guys because I've got a few shoots planned when this bloody nightmare's gone. Oh, 
Now, you're going to have sometimes the latex will stick to each other. It's a latex will stick to itself, okay? Can you see? Now those two little balls, don't worry about them. Sometimes you do get a bit of skin tagging. That's quite normal. That's because unfortunately the latex just stuck to itself. But don't just work with it. Don't just because something doesn't kind of come in as clean as you want it to, you can still make it work. Skin as you age, skin tags will appear. Okay, it's very normal. But can you see? Can you already see me? Twenty years in twenty years time. Maybe forty. No, maybe thirty years time. This is when I stop. This is this is what happens when you don't give up your Botox. This is what happens when you do when you do that. This is what happens when you give up your Botox, people. Look at it. Yeah. Now, this area here, I want to keep adding. Just here. Lovely Diana Estrada Hudson. Sorry, I forget the last bit. Um, there's fabulous, fabulous theatre and film makeup designer. Here she is, gorgeous Diana. Hello, darling. Oh, I never give up. But I'm just trying to show people. Now, don't be. When you've got to. You go, don't be worried about making shapes because that's what you want to do. You want to create, you want the body to start giving you, the body will naturally want to crease where it wants to crease. You just let it crease. You see that? Yeah? We're gonna keep adding more, we're gonna keep adding more, we want more, we want older, more decrepit. Where's my latex gone? There we go. Now this is techniques always very good as well. If you need to do a bit of a if you need to do a bit of an over drooping eyebrow, um uh, no eyebrow, um skin tag because of a burn, that's useful as well. Can be done. Now, it will stick to itself. That's what you're, you're trying to create. You are trying to create these lovely lines, which is what we all get as we get older, you see. Can you see? Can you see that? Can you see them there? And the more you add, the deeper the crease is going to become. Oh, there we go. Look at that. There we are. That's what we're trying to get. Can you see there? There's the lines appearing. Look at this. I've never looked better, ladies and gentlemen. I have never looked better. And you just keep slowly moving it to shape. Now you really need to know how the body creates lines and why. This is me without. Look at this. Gorgeous. And this is me looking even gorgeous. Because lines are beautiful, people. Lines are beautiful. Don't let anyone tell you they're not. Whatever you look like, you are beautiful and fabulous, and you must always remember that. All right, where are we? I need, to, I need my little mirror now, people, because I need to see what I'm doing. Now, you can't see. Now, 
You've got to be careful with your eyelashes, people, okay? You've got to really be careful with these. So as you can see, I'm holding my eyelashes down. I'm stippling my latex. Like a fine wine, apparently. You've also got to remember you might get it might look when you're applying it you might get elements of white don't worry about those because we need to apply some makeup over it um you also need to you need to just keep creating your your crease god i'm looking fabulous Now this area here, you'll get a lot of lineage, so I want to be more there. Okay, that's what I'm looking for, just there. Keep stippling, you really want as thin as possible, okay? Keep moving it, just keep creating the shape. Ooh. I mean, this one's got a bit intense. It could also be. This one's going to become age, part age, part burn, but that's all right, part burn scar. But this is another use for it, which is totally fine. So what we're going to do, we're going to add another one down here. Yes, Meron liquid latex, different colors. Different colours, however, I still prefer my clear one. Because you can do a lot more with it. Uh, I don't know. can't really see it but the lines are really starting to appear and try to work in small areas okay don't overdo the size because it'd be too big for you to work with. And also you don't want to burn yourself with a hairdryer. And when you see the image later on, hello Rosemary, gorgeous model Rosemary Lloyd. Alan Taylor's always also join queer lecturer, fabulous drag performer. So you can see everything just starts drooping down. That's the idea. That's what happens when we get older. And that's what we're trying to create, you see.
Just making myself look old, darling. Making myself look old. I don't know if you can see the detail. Can you see this detail? Can you see the detail? Now remember, must emphasize this. This is a non-made up. I haven't put any makeup on it yet. So you will see things. Oh God, that's got a bit of white. That hasn't got a bit of white. Just, you have to remember with any special effect, it's got to build in layers. It's not like a bruises instant look. Let's do a lip, shall we? Are we all having a fabulous Sunday? I'm having a fabulous Sunday. I did my lawn this morning. Yes. You know, be productive and all that. Now, the more fleshy the area, the more you're going to have to add product because there's a lot more to move about. So as you can see, I'm just keep adding the product I want to really droop this area down. Cur currently looking like Harley Quinn on a Sunday. Well, that's not a bad look, babes. That's not a bad look. I quite love him. I mean, look at this. This is part aged, part burnt scar, but I'm quite loving this. I mean, look at the gorgeous wrinkles up here and there. Studying wigs, there we are. Look, a bit of wig study. We like that. Now, when you get to the point that you're adding product on product, you might get it sticking to each other. You could be very gentle. Otherwise, you're going to start lifting it. Okay? And this is something I hear from students all the time. Oh, my product stick into itself. You've just got to be gentle, people. You know. Softly, softly, catchy monkey and all that. Mm -hmm. And just really work your... Decide where your wrinkles are going to be. Yeah, can you see? Can you see the wrinkle effect? I'm going to add there. Now this area is not a lot of movement. It's pulling quite a bit on itself. So let's see if we can get a wrinkle up there, shall we? So you're trying to pull it. Oh, that's not bad. I quite like that. That's quite a nice one. So this is me. This is me in 20, 30 years time without Botox. Mm -hmm. There we go, that's me. And that's me without Botox, okay. Now I want to add some lines around the lip. So for example this, as it's now sticking to each other. So this is when I get a new sponge, which won't stick to each other. Break it again. Bit more product. And off we pop. 
carry on, people, carry on. Now, I normally don't do a demo on a Sunday, but this weekend, because a lot of people wanted to see this again, we decided to run it again. So I spoke to Seventa and to Treasure House, and we thought, why not? Let's do it again. So, uh, uh, uh. We're doing the lip now, people, we're doing the lip. Really, when you're putting the product, make sure you feather the edges out because you don't want to have an edge. It's like when you're working a prosthetic, make sure those edges are feathered, yes? Um. Now, the mouth is quite hard to do. Because the mouth is the area that you, the, to get actually wrinkles on the mouth area, it's quite difficult, you just have to keep at it. You just have to be, keep working the area. And you can you can start seeing it there it starts appearing it's very hard the um, it's very hard to see the the mouth wrinkles okay very difficult very difficult hello everyone that's just joined just doing a bit of stipple aging today a bit of stipple aging i think we'll go where shall we go next let's go up here shall we Now, as I said, be careful with the eyebrow. Try to get the latex not on the hair because the person will not be very happy with you. That's what we're looking for. There's the crease. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. That's me. That's not me. Well, that is me, I guess. That's me looking beautiful and 20. <laughs> and that's me looking beautiful and not 20. Now, I want to keep... Now, I've added a little bit too much, as you can see, my eye is just opening up a bit because I added too, a little bit too much, but that's alright, we can work with it. I really want to put, this is when you essentially need a third person to kind of stretch for you so you can dry, but as I don't have a third person, we're just going to have to make it work. And you just keep adding on the old lip. Oh, Ashley, hello, gorgeous, lovely man. Ashley's just joined us. I'm giving myself lines, darling, rather than taking them away. Now, can you see, I've got a little bit of latex there. That's because I was, it got into my mouth. But that's not going to work. So we'll take that off. And we'll start again. Now, sometimes you will get that. You'll get a bit of a build. So I've got a tag there. That also shows you, I want to show you the thickness of it. Look at the thickness. Can you see the thickness? Yeah. Quite thick. So I'm going to work with the tag. I'm going to keep adding. It's very hard to take latex off if you're not happy with it.
and we're just going to keep building it up. This I'm going to keep this there just to show you the thickness of the tag because I want you to see how latex how thick the latex is. Okay. Now skin tags are quite common as you age because your skin loses elasticity and pliability. That's quite a common thing to get sort of tags in your in your face in your skin. Are we happy? Can you see? Can you see? Line detail. I. We keep working. A bit more. The thing is not to give up. You've got to keep adding. You've got to keep working it. And get those edges as feathered as you can. All right, this one's going to be interesting. Here we go. So, I think that's enough lines, don't you? Yeah, I think that's about right. I've also given myself a bit of a scab just to add. So this is, this is how flexible latex can be, okay? Lines, burnt scars, you can give yourself scabs as well. So we're gonna make that into a little scab. Okay, so the lovely Zach Black. Hello, Zach Black. Welcome, welcome. We're just doing a bit of aging today, a bit of aging. I've never looked better, you can tell. Never looked better. Um, we're using what are we using today? We are using the Celebrate Pro pressed powder, but I'm also using the Celebrate Pro foundation, uh, which comes in a little pot. Um, Here, yeah, that's the one, okay. Now these foundations and powders work together. They are fabulous, we love them. I'm just getting another brush, people. Actually, I can use one of these. Now you don't want a lot, okay? You don't want a lot. Now I'm using, in this case, a Delium 193 brush. Okay, so one of the effects ones, but you know, you can still use it for this. Um, so Morgan, I know you asked the question about foundation and latex, but look, it's a direct application, okay, it's absolutely fine.
we're looking good we are looking good we're looking slightly older and who is mr jam he also has just joined gorgeous actor who was in bertie no he wasn't he wasn't down another movie i did but i never got to do any of this on him i just had to make him slit his roast uh, his he slit his um wrist in a lift but he was fabulous absolutely fabulous This is what happens when you give up your injections, people. This is what happens. Um, bit of powder, bit of pressed powder. Meron, Celebre Pro. Now I've kept this on purpose just to show you the thickness of the tag. But in this case, I'm going to make it into a bit of a scab, like a cold sore, you know, nice, nasty. Because why not? Because, you know, because I can. Because why not? So in this case, we shall use a bit of Ben Nye, dark crimson. Just to add cold sorry scabby type thing going on uh, I'm not diluting the product I'm going straight on you can use a tiny bit of alcohol if you wish just to dilute the product but don't apply too much okay So here we are, this is my cold sore, my H face, can you see, look at my lines, I'm not looking very good am I? So that's where, that's where we are, that's the, that's the basically the ins and outs of this particular look. Um, what did we use? What did we use, people? We used Meron liquid latex, clear, white, in layers, stiplet. Make sure you feather your edges out as you put it on, yes? Make sure you work in smaller areas. You don't want to put too much. Um, I left a tag there, which I've made into a small cold saw. Yeah? Well, like this, I ripped it off a bit. Then I put some more latex on top. Then, you see, so then we used a bit of Celebre Pro Foundation and powder, and just to colour the cold sore up, which in fact I want to colour a bit more, because I'm not happy with it, I'm going to put a bit more on, thank you Anna. That's better. And to colour my cold saw, I used a bit of Ben Nye effects palette. And you just Really take the time to enjoy working with colour and working with your various mediums, okay? Um, special, special effects makeup should be something you really, really enjoy and take 
pride and care over it. And it's something that takes a while to get used to. But once you're there, you're there. It's a really good skill to have. Even fashion makeup artists should know the basics of special effects. Um, when you do movie work, it's all about, you know, you have various departments doing various things. Um, I've worked for 23 years now. I've worked in most departments. Um, I don't do animatronics, but I, I, you know, I now do effects, prosthetics, beauty, etc., etc. So really enjoy the process. Um, really enjoy creating. Uh, but that's what we've done. Very simple. Um, takes about you know a good hour to kind of do everything. Depends how old you want to go. You can do more. You can do less. This is a really good area to age there. Yeah. Can you see there? This area is really good. So you can kind of keep adding wrinkles there. Um, I decided to do the skin as well, but I could have added more as well. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to wish you a lovely Sunday. Um, and I will see you I'm back tomorrow at 2 p.m. to talk about cuts. But tomorrow's cuts will be with no 3D effect. Will only be with colour and blood. Okay. So no wax, no silicon, no gelatin, no latex. It's all about colour and blood. All right. Have a lovely Sunday and remember you can find all the products at Treasure House and if you want to find more information about the courses I do come to the Seventa Makeup Academy uh, website which is seventaimage.com. Have a lovely day. Bye.